let's talk about attachments. As email became more popular, it became apparent that sending and receiving attachments was going to be very common practice. So simply to find an attachment is a computer file that's sent within an email message. And so attachments can be many things. They could be an image, video, MP3s, documents, PDFs, things like that. So what I'm going to show you is how you can add an attachment to an email. And then if you receive an attachment, how you could download it. So let's take a look. So we're on our email. And so when we're ready, we're going to compose an email to someone. I'll just type in an email here. And then we'll just call it um, Sue Picture. And then see attached. So down here at the bottom, when we're ready to attach, it is the paperclip. The paperclip is the synonymous symbol for attaching files. Whether you have Gmail, Yahoo, Mail.com, every email service uses the paperclip in order to attach things. So we're going to click on Attach. When it will hit Attach, it's going to pop up now asking you, well, where is the file that you want to send? We've got this one on the desktop. Click on Open. And it's loading. And once it's fully loaded and ready to send, you'll see that it turns blue. And then all you have to do is send it. I will mention that there are limitations to the size of the file that you can send as an attachment to others. Um, Google has a limitation of about 25 megabytes. So that's just to say, you know, you can't send full length, you know, feature films to people. You know, you may not be able to send 50 pictures uh, to people. It's just really based on the size of the file. Um, so what we'll do, we're just going to send it. And then what we'll do is message sent. We'll go into the sent folder. And then you can see here that we have sent something and that you can tell that there's an attachment to the message because you'll see the paperclip down here. Paperclip is a very fast way to tell if there is an attachment without even having to open the email. Uh, this person can see that there's been an attachment. So let's go into our inbox and see if somebody sent us an attachment. You can see again that it is attached to this message because there's a paperclip. So we'll just click on that. And you always see an attachment at the bottom of the message. So you'll see here that we have one attachment. You can just click on that, get a little preview. And then up here in the top right, you can choose to either print it. And you can print it from this screen just based on your printer capabilities, or you can download it. So we're going to click on download. Question now being, where are we downloading it to? And I'm going to first title it library. And we'll put in our downloads folder. And that's all you need to do in order to download a attachment. Let me conclude by saying, though, that you need to be safe when it comes to attachments. You know, don't open uh, attachments unless it's from a trusted source. Uh, something, someone that you know, or maybe a business that you're expecting to get a message from, uh, just for security reasons, I would suggest to, you know, it's a way to possibly avoid cyber attacks by not uh, clicking uh, on attachments that you're unaware uh, from whom sending it to. And so that is attachments. It's a very useful tool for sending information to others via email.